Hello all, and welcome to Making Technology Easier 2. I'm your course professor, Philip Hockman. Welcome to the course. If you've already taken Making Technology Easier for 21st Century Teachers and Learners, number one, then you're very familiar with me. If you haven't, it's a great course to check out. Now, on to our site. If you're watching this video, it means you've already reached the Making Technology Easier 2 wiki, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that wiki in a second. First off, a little bit about myself. Once again, my name is Philip Hockman. I'll be a course professor, and I have a lot of experience working with technology. I'm a technology leader in my district. I'm currently a teacher in the Central Bucks School District, and I've taught at all kinds of different levels. I've taught at CB East, West, Hollytown Middle, and three different elementary schools in the district. I have ran multiple in-services, and I work for a bunch of different colleges. So my enthusiasm for technology is very, very high. Hopefully, it bleeds over into your students and your course. There is very, very little crossover between MTE1 and MTE2. This is a brand new course, and it's a standalone course. You do not need to have the other course to be successful. Now, taking a look at our course here, let's take a look at our class website. Now, our website, when you first log in, will look just like this. On here, you're going to find a bunch of different information. Over here, you'll find faculty information, like my name, my telephone number, and, of course, my email address. If you have any questions, of course, I'll respond back to you within a 24-hour period. Now, you'll be watching the intro video right here. It'll be posted up here soon, as soon as I'm done recording it. And you can read the, through the course description, course objectives, and course requirements. Basically, the course is made up of 41 assignments. 40 of the assignments are worth two points each, making up 80% of the course value. And the other one is one large project worth 20% of the course called your MTE2 Learning Resource Checklist. So once again, this learning resource is something that you're going to be creating for your students to use once the course is completed. Once again, the course outline here is detailed, going through all the different eight modules you'll be completing during the course. If you have more questions on how to operate a wiki, it's going to be located here in Wikis in Plain English. Now, imagine your course in a navigation pane on the right-hand side of the screen. You're going to find your name underneath all of the different modules here. So, what I want you to show you here is what your template, what your student experience would be like. You can click on your name. For our example here, we have student template. And that's going to bring us to where you complete your assignments. Ultimately, in here, you're going to see the different modules, and they are linked directly to the module. So you can click on this link. It would bring you right to the module you need to complete. You come back. You're going to see you literally hit the edit button. And it turns into a Word document. Literally, you just type in what you want. When you're done, you hit the Save button. And all the modules are kept in one neat, saved place. Now, I always recommend you keep a backup copy. For example, I would cut and paste all this into a Word document or a Google Doc. So I would have, I'd always have a copy for myself. Just in case something gets deleted in here, you always want to have yourself a backup copy. And then paste it over to the class website. Now, if you wanted to upload other documents, you hit Edit, and then up here, there's the File button. When you go to the File button, you're then able to upload files. Let's say I ask you to take a screenshot, upload a document. It would look at your computer, and you're able to upload whatever you would like. And lastly, and this is going to be the most complicated one, if you would like to insert a widget, right? for example, I'm going to ask you sometimes to insert some embed code. All right? I'll explain that throughout the course, obviously. You would go to Widget. Then you go to Other, and then you paste the embed code right here. Okay, and that would automatically become a widget on your computer. So once again, these are the basic mechanics of our website. If you have any questions or concerns, once again, I'll have a bunch of tutorial videos on each of the modules to help you out. And this is the basic mechanics of our website. I want to thank you very much for taking the course. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me. Have a great time. Enjoy the course.